Hi everybody, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. I'm starting another haul and this doesn't look anything like the um, picture on the front. What is that called? Um, but I do have the sticker and like washi stuff over here, but I had a Victoria's Secret order of like lots of I mean, I ordered underwear also, but I'm not going to show you my underwear. That would be odd. Um, <laughs> but I'll show you all the, like, bath products and stuff. I haven't ordered from Victoria's Secret in quite a while, and I just thought I would stock up on some stuff. So the first thing is scrunchies. I know, they've been all the rage. I haven't bought any, um, but I liked these ones that had the bow on the top of them. So I only bought two, and I bought like a black and a pink, which seems right up my alley. They were like six bucks, um, and maybe I had a coupon or I don't know. Um, so I don't know. I don't know how it works with like making sure the bow like gets to the front exactly. I guess you just have to put it on that way. I don't know, I have not experienced um, scrunchies with bows on them before. <laughs> um, but I'm not going to like wear these on my wrist. I'm not about that life. Um, but I will try to actually put these in my hair so that I have a bow because I love wearing bows in my hair. Um, so again, they have these in a couple different other like patterns and a couple other solid colors, but these are the pink and the black. Um, pretty straightforward. And then I bought this little trio of hand sanitizer spray um, just because they had it on the site. It's 80% alcohol um, and they sent a little, we're here for you. So I don't know. I just, I'm out of my um, Bath and Body Works, like the little mini things. Um, I, I think I maybe have one more at work but I was sick on the two days that we could go into work to pick anything up um so I couldn't I couldn't go because you can't go if you're sick um not that I felt like going anywhere anyways um and then maybe I have I don't know I feel like I have one maybe by my like makeup area or something but I'm definitely running out um because I like to keep them in my purse for like when I'm out running errands and stuff so I can like clean off my steering wheel and clean my hands like when I get back into my car and that kind of thing so um since they had them on the site I figured I would just go ahead and pick a little trio up so we'll see and then like I said I got lots of kind of bath and body type products um from them and I think I also ordered a mask from them um, but that hasn't come yet but I did get this order in two packages so and then I think I still have something waiting to come I don't exactly remember you guys <laughs> anyways um I got the honey wash and honey lotion um I really like their um, like shower and body products for the most part. Um, I've not tried the honey before, but one of my students, like we talk about this kind of stuff. So, um, she definitely recommended the honey and I was like, Ooh, I want to try that. So, um, because I have, <laughs> okay. The reason it came up, I have the aloe one of these at work in my classroom. Um, <laughs> so we were talking about the other scents that they have. Um, cause I have the cocoa one here at home. I have the aloe one at work and she was like, try the honey. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so I got the shower gel and the lotion. Um, I can't like, I mean, it smells sweet, but so, okay. So here's the problem is right before I started this video, this was the first lotion I opened, um, this velvet petals. My hands are really dry. So I put some of this on and now when I bring things to my face to smell them, all I can smell is this lotion. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm smelling for the honey. So I'm going to refrain from giving super accurate descriptions, but the velvet petals is lush blooms, almond glaze, and it says made you blush. Um, I love this scent like um vanilla or bare vanilla I think it used to be called vanilla lace I preferred it when it was vanilla lace um but this is whipped vanilla soft cashmere skin to skin um this is like my everyday scent like when in doubt I will be wearing bare vanilla by Victoria's Secret um but this is like my backup or my like other scent. I mean, I have a lot of other scents in my collection um, and like perfumes and stuff like that, but this is like a rare find for me because I wear vanilla constantly. Um, 
but I like the like um, sweet almond type scent of velvet petals. So I did pick up um, two of the Bare Vanillas. Oh, I think it's the lotion, um, the Bare Vanilla lotion. I think I have one of those coming. Um, but I picked up two of these because I go through them like crazy. Again, it's not my favorite. Like, it's not as good as the original, but it's still, it's still good. Okay, then I picked up three of these, but one is really messy. It kind of, I don't know, uncorked itself um, in, in transit, so I need to clean up the bottle. But I did get three of these. This is one of the best body washes, you guys. It is luxurious. Like, if you want a thick really creamy body wash if you are feeling really dry. Um, I love this one. It is really hard to get out of the container sometimes because it is so thick, um, but it's, it's so good. And you have to like the coconut smell, um, but this is the cocoa wash coconut oil moisturizing cream body wash if they have the body milk don't get that one that's like pouring water over yourself and it's useless um but the body wash is really really good okay next we have an apricot scrub they have this scrub in a lot of different like scents there's like a berry and a pineapple and i can't even remember else what else like a melon or something um they have a bunch of them, but I thought I would try the apricot just because I like the smell of apricot. Um, it says it has real seeds inside. You can see it's pretty like chunky um, looking, like it looks pretty grainy. Um, so I thought this would be nice. Just kind of scoop up a handful of it and smooth it all over. So we'll try that. And then I picked up the Vanilla Swirl Mist. This says Whipped Vanilla and Frosted Snowflakes. So I'm not exactly sure. This was like a Christmas scent and it was on like clearance for a couple dollars or something. I'm not sure how this compares to the, um, the Bare Vanilla scent that I love, but um, I read like the undertones or whatever, whatever you want to call it, the description on the website before I purchased it. And it sounded right up my alley. I love all their like super sweet scents. And then lastly, I have the Gum Drop the Beat. And again, I think these were on clearance. Um, it says Pink Gum Drops and Dance Parties. And I don't remember the description that this one had, but it was also definitely like sweet, gummy, fruity, vanilla-y, sugary flavors um, or scents, I guess. Um, spraying that just kind of smells, yeah, like fruity and sweet. I don't know if I can give you any more accurate of a description than that. <laughs> and then with my purchase, um, they had a, I think it was a free candle. Um, and this is the Peony and Vanilla Orchid. Um, it came in this really nice box and I have not opened this yet. Don't burn candle inside the box. Okay. Um, good advice. Good advice. Okay. This is super nice. Okay. So here's the like a little lid thing. I'm sure your Bath and Body Works type lids would fit on this. Um, and again, Peony and Vanilla Orchid. Fine fragrance candle, I don't know. It's a little more mm, mature smelling than I thought it would be. When I opened, this box was like in another box. And when I opened that box, it smelled amazing. Um, smelling the candle directly, I'm not sure how I feel. Um, but I can definitely give it a whirl because it was free. So there's my Victoria's Secret stuff minus a couple things but you get the idea sorry if you can see those all in the background while we do the rest of this <laughs> this next order is from sparrow plans and i have a um coupon code for her shop down below because i am on the pr team so i will show you everything i got um she has really nice cellos just as an fyi <laughs> Um, so this is really cute. Um, there's like pink tissue paper and this little like vellum piece with the little thank you on it. That is really quite cute. Um, and she has all sorts of stuff, you guys. She has 
foil. She has kits. She has um, like day extenders, bougie box, ex or not bougie box extenders, day extenders, half box extenders, double box extenders, like all sorts of things. Um, and functional stuff, um, foiled stuff, like I said, she has um, like color, what is it called? Um, multicolor, <laughs> multicolor stuff. So she's got it all. Um, yeah. Okay. So this looks like a little freebie sampler. Um, we have Starlight Paper Studio, little Easter watering can type thing. Um, Sandy's Planner Shop, JNL Plans, lots of Easter things. Um, my planning addictions at McDonald's bag is like shockingly cute. <laughs> That's cute. Little characters. Little Annabelle's plans. Oops, sorry, not in frame. Let's let's tilt you down a little. There we go. Um, Helio Fire Studio. I got another sampler from her recently too. Um, so cute planner. I love that little strawberry stuff. Um, Burgundy Butterfly Co. Crafts by Polly. Polly, Polly. Less Than Misfit. The little keys are really adorable. Geeky Daisy Designs. Graceful Muse Papery, which I just hauled in my last haul. And then Winterfeld, Winterfield Studios. There you go. So those are all little freebies. Thank you very much. And then we have a Sparrow Plans freebie. She's on Etsy. So she has little characters. Like I said, multicolor, functional type stuff. Um, and then she also has foil and kits and all sorts of things. A reward card. Um, so let's see. It says, happy with your order? Let us know on Etsy. Leave a review and we'll send a surprise. Um, yeah. If you review it, then she'll send you a coupon. Okay. Um, and then there is a reward card. So every 10 coins that you collect, you can get a 25% off your next order code. And these are the coins. So if you spend between 2 and 25, you'll get 1. Um, 26 and 50, you get 2. 3 would be 51 to 75. 4 would be 76 to 100. And then um, 101 would be 5 coins. So she probably just has this in a bunch of different things. So then you would just go like this. I like that they're kind of on this separate sheet. <laughs> um, I keep finding... Um, coffee monster beans in my collection like I keep I keep um finding sheets that I need to pull beans off of because I didn't have um cards for them to go on for something so yeah I, I fixed that now but it's funny to me okay I got a bunch of stuff from her shop so <laughs> we're just gonna go through it so foiled Sephora run stickers on clear um, because I have a lot of like Sephora bag deco but never anything to write with it and those are silver then gold um, rose gold her rose gold is kind of that champagne -y type rose gold not super coppery not super pink just like a hint of pink and copper like you can see there it's kind of coppery pinky but looking at it here it just sort of looks champagne you guys see that? Champagne, <laughs> copper, and pink. That's that's that type of foil. I don't know. Um, and then we have shopping in rose gold, gold, and silver. I don't think she has hollow in her shop, just as an FYI. Uh, Ulta Run in silver, rose gold, gold, and then Amazon order in gold, um, rose gold, and silver. 
so those are all epic right like perfection and then I picked up some colorful functional things um, and she does label these with what kind of color scheme it is so this is the bright multicolor and you can see there's rows where the icon is a little bit smaller and it has words and then where you have the icon a little bit bigger without a word um, and I like that you get that for all three sets um, and again this is bright multicolor it's not overly bright I will say like it's actually really really nice um, like that I wouldn't like if you had like a true 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 red um, that would look really faded because it's not in your face these are a lot kind of nicer <laughs> colors than I thought they would be I thought they were gonna be a little more bright oh actually just kidding okay I think this is labeled wrong I think this is the pastel multicolor because here's the bright so you can see that's definitely more of a red I think I misspoke these are still nice though they're more jewel toned than like br like neons in your face kind of colors yeah I still like those okay so I got film I think this is like I said just labeled incorrectly um so that's pastel and bright oh yeah so here's the pastel um so we have the edits in the pastel and the bright and you can see the saturation differences same color palette just pastel and bright and then YouTube in the pastel and the bright. The bright is definitely um, more saturated, like the ink looks nicer, um, but the pastel is really cute. More my jam. Okay, so those are some of my like multicolors that I got. And then I got one mini kit, I think. I probably forgot to mention myself for my own freebie to show you my freebie, um, but if you, I'll try to include it like as a picture here, but if I forget, if you go to any of my Sparrow Plans images on Instagram, you'll see it. Or if you just scroll back a little bit, there'll be a picture. It's like mint and it has like an Amazon order. It doesn't have foil, but it has like an Amazon order and like a computer and it's really functional. Um, I'm kind of mad that I <laughs> forgot to get one of my own. Okay, anyways, this is called Sail Away, and you guys know I love me an article kit. <laughs> this is so cute. So it says Sail Towards Adventure, Beach House, Welcome Aboard. Um, yeah, like, could I imagine if that was your view? Oh, I love, I love the white wood accents, of course. There's a little bit of floral. It's so pretty. And then we have um, a few headers and then a few little things. We have four half boxes, two rounded edge and two squared edged um, quarter boxes, five work labels, and then three like appointment labels, I guess. For larger appointment labels, I kind of wish those were more quarter boxes, um, but you know, bill dues, habit tracker, flight tracker, um, I also wish there were two of these rather than a flight tracker because I feel like flight trackers are just not like, who is buying kits and using a flight tracker every single time they use a kit? <laughs> like, I feel like if you want flight trackers, just buy a flight tracker sheet um, and then you'll have a bunch of them. They don't need to be in a kit. Um, we have a weekly checklist, but then you also have a checklist where there's seven spots, um, which is really nice. I like when shops do this a lot because even though like I typically like two of these, they don't necessarily have to say Monday through Sunday. And sometimes it doesn't work for people to have Monday through Sunday, but these types of checklists are typically five or six instead of seven. So I love when they give you one that's seven. We have some like box checklists and then a bunch of heart checklists. Um, I love that she gives you seven of them in the different colors. We have some icons and some teardrops. Um, we have a weekend banner and some deco and little scripts. So we have bath, date, night, Netflix, workout. Oh, I have workout stickers on my um, freebie also. Meal plan, relax, payday, um, camera, little play button, happy meal, computer, shopping, laundry, Sparrow plans, new releases, um, movie marquee. I don't think I've seen that kind of movie marquee before. That's actually really cute. Coffee, planner, um, what is that called? Grocery bag and balloons. I think that's a really nice selection of a lot of functional things for you. And they are colored to match with the kit, which I love. 
I like when that is happening. Um, I feel like there's a lot of like weird white space up here, um, but she does give you deco, so like, and quite a bit of deco, so I'm not like mad about it. <laughs> um, really cute bottom washi, just the little sea stars, and then the blue wood um, date covers, those are also adorable, and then you get some washi strip um, in a solid over here, which is also really nice. So that, like I said, is a mini, I think it's called a mini kit. Um, yeah, this is a mini kit. Um, and I got all of her stickers in matte besides the ones that came in clear. So yeah, there you go. I think it's really sweet. Um, again, I have a code for her shop down below and she has so many different things. And again, mention Laura at checkout, like in the comments, and then you'll get my freebie, which I have failed to do to actually show you my freebie. My apologies. <laughs> okay, moving on, we have Glam Planner. And I think this is my May sub, which I have been hearing everybody and their mother rave about. So I'm very excited. Nope, this isn't my May sub. Just kidding. Oh my gosh. I was so excited to finally get to see the May sub, and this is not my May sub. So this is just an order. I think I used my birthday code on this order, um, and I wasn't... I wasn't going to get anything. I didn't need anything. And then she released the hollow stuff. And then she released Harry Potter. And I just uh, fell down the glam planner rabbit hole. Okay. So I think I got the um, Lux kit of this because of all the add-ons that I wanted. So I think I just went ahead and got Lux. Um, this is her Privet Drive kit. This artwork is just so cute. So I'll probably use this for Harry's birthday in the end of July. Little Dobby and Harry. I love the additional soft colors that were pulled in. Um, the stars and things, just really cute. Really, really cute. So typical Glam Planner like kit setup, but the artwork is just adorable. Ooh, I love that the bottom washi is the stars. Yes. Okay, so that is just like the regular part of the kit, and then you get this double box, and then you get the four fashion girls, um, which are adorable, <laughs> and then you get the glitter headers all as part of the Lux kit. So that was Privet Drive, um, and then she also released her firework whatever this is called overlays <laughs> um she was talking about these on a video and then I went to order and I was like they're not here where are they so I went to her Facebook group and I'm like did they sell out like where are they I'm late for new releases I don't know what happens <laughs> like and she was like oh I've restocked them I'm like thank you <laughs> so I felt like a ding dong but um you get this like bottom washi overlay with the fireworks and then these are like half fireworks which I thought was so cute and then you get tons of little star deco and then you get individual big kind of big medium and small um fireworks and they are in this like sparkly hollow and I picked up two of them just to be on the safe side look how pretty I was very excited for that overlay and then I picked up a few little teeny sheets because they're just too cute. These are like itty bitty tiny sheets. <laughs> um, so we have the Teeny and Friends Harry Potter pets. So you have all the little pets as different houses. Um, they're so funny. And then I got the girls. Um, well, you got, okay, so in the past that you got all of the girls except for um, what's the most recent one besides Kisma? Not Honey. Polka? Um, I don't think Polka was on the sheet because I don't think she was invented yet. But you got, I think, four of the girls and each of them were, like, assigned to a house. Um, but this time you could pick your girl and you could have them in all four houses. So I picked Honey and Bun. I mean, I guess Bun's not on this sheet, but honey <laughs> in all four of the houses because I love her. And then I got teeny in all four of the houses because I look mostly teeny. Um, a lot of times I'll get lolly also, but I didn't in this time. And then I got honey and bun and teeny in the camo. Um, 
specifically for marking things like um, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, that kind of thing. So, yeah. Okay. Those are, <laughs> these sheets are so small. Um, like, if you compare to a glitter header sheet, so if you guys know how big one of these is, these are. It's like that big. It's tiny. Okay, anyways, so this was my Glam Planner order. I guess I'm going to have to wait a little longer for my May mystery, but I'm not going to look. Like, I don't want to look. I just want to see it, <laughs> like, in person. Okay, this, I'm assuming, is from Simply Gilded. Nope, this is from Panda Bird Design. Maybe the other one's Simply Gilded. I don't even know. I didn't even look at this mail, you guys. Like, honestly, I let it sit for... A number of days and then I got sick so I didn't um, open it until today when I'm feeling semi better <laughs> I don't know okay I bought this during a sale maybe the planner boss collective sale um, and it took a long time like I think that sale was in March and this is May um, so I don't know how long her normal, like, processing time is, but this was a while, and I don't remember what she quoted. Like, I'm not concerned about that sort of thing unless I order a kit that I want for a particular reason. If it's just, like, foil and stuff, like, I don't, it's whatever. Um, but just letting you know, if a shop is in a big sale, it usually takes a lot longer. So, there's that. Okay, so we have a washi here. I don't remember if I ordered this or if this is a freebie or whatnot, um, but it's kind of like a... Um, rosy pink with um snowflake there we go snowflake and stars it looks like in white panda bird design this is my first order from panda bird design by the way okay it says thank you you are amazing i'm so grateful for your support busiest month ever orders okay orders taking longer than expected to process um hope you love your happy mail from jess there we go okay we have eight bow headers and two little scallops with the florals. This is on a white paper and a gold foil. It's very lovely. That's like a super nice freebie too, if that's a freebie. Well, I'm assuming these are freebies. Um, and then we have some girls at the computer with a bow. We have these kind of FaceTime type icons, the little switch icons, and then houses, uh, bows, and teardrops, and then two more of those kind of divider things. This is like a quarantine at home. <laughs> Maybe she did those extra because of the wait time. I'm not really sure. Um, and then we have a little bow on just a white like cardstock piece here. I don't know if that's like hand done or if it's printed. I can't tell. And then I ordered all the foil, you guys. Okay, I don't know what this is. Let's see. Laura, you're simply the best. Thank you so much. I'm very grateful to have you as a PVD customer. Stay safe, love, Jess. This, this is really cute. Adorbs. And then there was something else back here. Oh, this. Okay, so more of this kind of paper. Cute. I like the theme, like the, the packaging and the branding and all of that. It's very, like, cohesive. Very, very cute. Okay, so... I don't remember what these are called, but they're like little little decorative pieces on white um, in bows, floral hearts, a different floral in gold, rose gold and silver. Her rose gold is very pinky. I don't know if I'll be able to get it to show. Um, yeah. So it's a lot more pinky than the rose gold from Sparrow Plans but gold, rose gold, and silver. And then we have pay bills. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at how much foil I ordered. Whew. Okay, pay bills. Like, the, it's just a very clean look. Her shop, like, I've wanted to order from her shop for forever. And she, like, when the sale list came out, I was like, I'm ordering from her shop. And I even, like, went to her shop and then put a bunch of stuff in my cart and I still couldn't decide, like, even on sale day. And I was like, oh my gosh, you just have to buy everything. So, pay bills in gold, silver, rose gold, and, oop, wait, maybe gold and light gold? Ooh, okay. So, can you see the difference? Yeah. Okay, so I said silver. This is not silver. This is light gold. 
um, rose gold, silver, and then hollow. Man, I got so many foils. Okay, I got tidy up in gold, light gold, rose gold, silver, hollow. Okay, then I got these adorable corners with the um, floral and the hearts on them. This is, I don't know, rose gold, silver? I don't know. <laughs> um, looks like there's some more here. So this looks like maybe a light gold and a hollow. I think I got the gold. Okay, so I think in some of them I got gold and light gold because I wanted to see the difference and then others I just got one or the other. I don't really know. Okay, then I got cleaning day in all five. Um, and I think that's how you could order most like all five or all four or all three or whatever. Um, so hollow, silver, rose gold, light gold, gold. Ooh, look at that hollow in the back. Okay, so cleaning day. And then I got these little corner flag type things in... Um, gold hearts and then tidy up did I already say tidy up I feel like I already had some of those so I think I got that in all five so here's gold rose gold and silver and then I got these adorable little bow dividers they're so sweet and again I got these in all five foils so those are really pretty I like the shape of the bow and I like that you get them on either end of the line. Okay, so that's all the smaller sheets. And then I got some of these bigger sheets, which are insane in the amount of foil that is on this sheet. Um, so, and her foil looks really good. Like, yeah, I don't know. I don't see like chunks out of it or anything. I kind of talked about that with planting roses in my last video. Um, but these are like scallop type corners in one of the golds, I don't know. And then silver and hollow. Did I only get it in those? Why would I have not gotten rose gold? Hmm. I don't think I got my invoice, but I'll have to check because I don't know why I would get, like why I wouldn't get rose gold at least bizarre but we'll see okay and then I got these little half circle doily scallop things with a bow <laughs> and I don't know what this color palette is called because again I don't have an invoice so there's like a little bit deeper blue but it kind of hints on the green end and then a the little bit lighter um there's kind of a yellowy vanilla color a light gray a medium gray um kind of um like a dusty purple, um, kind of a dusty rose pink, and then um, more of like a peachy tan, I'd say. Like this one compared to this one. This one is way warmer. This one is much more yellowy, greenish toned. But those have gold foil, and then I think light gold foil, rose gold. Oh, these are really pretty. These colors down here with the rose gold. I love gray with rose gold. And then the silver, these ones again up here look super amazing. The silver, and then the hollow. I just thought they'd be some nice neutral colors. Oh, here's the rose gold one. I thought it, like, I thought it would be silly to order without rose gold. So those are gonna be really nice to kind of layer like icons and stuff over. And then I have just these like pink ones in um, the bows again. So we have the hollow, the silver, the rose gold, the light gold, and the gold. And I'll just kind of flip through them so you can see the foil with the pink. The rose gold is really pretty. Silver. This reminds me of the Sophie pink color from Clever Girl Crafts. If you need like a reference, um, I think they would match pretty well, if not perfectly. And then I only picked up one sheet of these because I didn't think I would use them as often because they have a flower. And although a lot of the kits I use have flowers, not all of them do. Um, and then I just <laughs> wasn't prepared to spend like to get all of the foils. So um, these are just in silver, but the same shade of pink. And again, these are like a half kind of a half box size with a scallop 
and then that little touch of foil. So everything looks literally amazing. Like these sheets have um, some like, you can kind of see the like foil like dusting on top of them. Um, but I think that's actually really pretty, but I don't see like chunks of foil missing or anything like that. So um, it looks like really good quality. And I've always heard really good things about our shop. I just could never decide what to buy. It was never that I didn't want to buy. I could never figure out what to buy. <laughs> so I went a little ham. Yes, yeah, so I went a little ham with my uh, first order to Panda Bear Design. Okay, and then lastly for right now, I have Simply Gilded. Um, so these were from um, her May, May, yeah, May 8th release. Um, and I actually didn't order with Tamara because I wanted things as sets for once in my life. So I actually ordered everything, so it all came to me. So it's even more insane than normal because normally you guys see it kind of broken up or you see only my part from tea. Um, but <laughs> you're getting to see the whole collection this time. Okay, this is insane. Let me sort and then I'll, I'll show you it all. So for starters, we have, oops, we have a little bow um, seal with gold foil. And then it looks like we got a little... Um, sticker sheet it says juniper kids and this has silver foil I did not order that so thank you for the freebie and then we have a journaling card that says keep looking up with this like really pretty watercolor kind of sunset vibes to it just sort of summery I like it it's very like just reminds me of summer at the at the beach or something Okay, so then we had some floral releases. We had, like, I'm part of this. Um, she had floral releases. So this is the Simple Line Floral. Um, let's see, I don't know if they're named. Light pink floral Simple Line with light gold. And then the light pink floral with the 5 and 10 millimeter. So these are all the same exact pattern. It just depends how the bows are and then this one is called painted gardens and this is similar to one that we recently got in a subscription box but it has a pink background instead of like a minty aqua kind of blue background so loving that so these are some beautiful florals you guys know i think her work is art okay then we have this release which is the polka dot heart mint and pink with light gold foil bow um I don't know when this came out because I got the yellow one from Tamara the other day so I don't know when I like if I missed this or I don't know what happened um but it has little tiny pink hearts and it's a minty color with a gold bow light gold bow and then this is spearmint I feel like my colors are off right now We'll try getting some white background. <laughs> um, so this is the color Spearmint. And I was super excited about this. It's just like a pistachio. I mean, Spearmint's a really good name for it also. Spe a Spearmint green with a very nice silver bow in the 10 and the 15. I was so excited about that. I wanted both of those for sure. And then I bought, okay, so then I bought this, um, what are these called? Pastel Heart and Bow pearl pink green blue um and matte gold and then I got the set of five of these um but the purple is the only one that didn't come in other colors um so the purple has a holographic on it it's like a periwinkle kind of color but then the rest of them come as um I mean, you could get them as sets. So like the little bows at the bottom came in the set with that purple, um, but then you could buy sets of the matching five and 10, or 15, 10 and 15. <laughs> so I have the five, the 10, the 15, plus this heart and bow pattern for each of these four colors. And then the purple, like I said, is kind of on its own. So here are the pink and blue versions. And again, with the matching, five millimeters and then here are the 
yellow and green versions, again with the matching five millimeters. So they all have a pearly, oh my God, the green is so pretty. Like, okay, this, you guys, like I love the pink, right? I love, but this little smash up here makes me so happy. These minty green colors, oh my gosh. I love them so much. And green and pink together. I love pink and yellow. I love green with this like lilac purpley kind of color. Um, pink and yellow I love together. Ugh, so good. So they're all pearl foils except for the yellow because she didn't she couldn't find one. So she did a matte gold on these ones. So it's not quite as like subtle as these but it's still really pretty and I didn't know if I needed these because of the one that just came out but that was a little bit different of a yellow and it had a holographic gold um so and I just thought like if I'm gonna get the set I mean just might as well get it all so this really came as a set I mean you could buy them individually also but this came as a set of five and then you would purchase like these separately I just wanted to show you like that all of these match um, and then again, you can buy this one separately. I think there might have been some other choices of the fives too. I'm not, I can't quite remember. Like there might have been perforated or something, but I don't remember because this is all, this is all I typically get. Every now and again, I'll get the vertical bows, but I'm, I don't use them as often if I, um, because I don't have my inserts anymore. So the horizontal is more, more practical for me. Okay. So again, this was just to show you. I think that's everything that I have hauled right now. I have a Scribble Prince order on the way because, I don't know, we don't know what happened to it. I emailed her. Like, I kind of forgot about the package, and then I emailed her, and I was like, wait, where did this package go? Like, I got a shipping label, but nothing after that. And she's like, meh, UPS probably lost it on a refund, or do you want a new shipment? And I was like, I'd love a new shipment. So that'll be shipping on Monday. Today's Friday. Um, and we'll see what else we get. Well... Yeah, I guess I'll see what else we get. Okay, stay tuned for more. Hey guys, it's Laura. I um, thought I would be getting more packages by now, but I haven't. Um, post office is obviously slow in things because we have a pandemic. <laughs> and they're super busy and everything. So um, I just have one package from Glam Planner. I hope this is my main mystery. Um, and then whatever else comes in later, I will film in a separate haul, which is totally fine. This one's long enough as it is, but we'll just do this one more and be done with it. Yes, this is my main mystery because I get a Lux and Teenies. So if you don't wanna see this, look away. This is the last thing in the video, so I will talk to you in the next one. Hit subscribe on your way out if you haven't already. Um, and here we go. So, like I said, I get the teenies and the Lux. Um, okay, these are super cute. They're like the girl and her pet kind of looking out of a window, like, I'm bummed. <laughs> I can't go anywhere. Those are fun. Um, we have like a little birthday one. So she's wearing a hat, like a party hat and has like a little horn. I feel like the characters look different, like their eyes. Oh, we have four sheets. What the heck? Okay. Then we have the girls in like, um, different jungle outfits, <laughs> like giraffe. I don't know what that one is. Maybe alligator or something. Tiger, which is so exciting that Teeny is in tiger print because I look most like Teeny. Zebra and like a cheetah, I think. Those are funny. Cute though. And then watering plants. Oh, that's right. Um, She said that she wasn't impressed with the, the color quality or something in the last um batch of these so she sent us a reprint but I don't know why do these look different to me like I'm gonna just grab an older sheet um I don't know I think their eyes are darker or like different 
Like, I think her eyes are a little more blue-green, and they're a little lighter here. And, like, just the colors in general, like, the outline is a little darker. Yeah, they're just a little different. Huh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> um, I just couldn't figure out what was different about them. I really love these. Those are so cute. The plants is funny because... I don't know. I don't know what I was going to do with them last time anyways, because I don't have any plants. I kill plants. Birthday is totally usable, and these are totally relatable. So I love that. Thanks, Elle. Okay, then we have our Lux subscription. I have no idea what the theme is, but I've heard it's beautiful. Okay, so May Mystery. All right, so we have this party tent gazebo -y type thing as our double box. Really interesting colors. Here are the label samplers or label add-on. The glitter header colors. These are really gorgeous colors. Just kind of different. Um, we have a graduation box. We have an eat more cake celebration kind of one. Bride tribe. And then a baby. So this must be like a choose your own celebration kind of kit. So you could have it for graduation, a birthday party, um, like a bachelorette party or a wedding, and then a baby or a baby shower. I love that. That's so cool. Here are the girls. They're gorgeous. Look at that dress. I cannot wear wrap anything. Faux wrap, regular wrap. It just doesn't work with my body. <laughs> and then we have the glitter overlay or the foil overlay. This is in rose gold. This would be for that double box that I showed you at the beginning. And then you have a couple more full boxes, a generic box overlay. And then these are half cut headers. Oh, and then we got another one. These look like they're probably for all of the full boxes. And then here are the full boxes. So we have celebrate, presents, a cake, kind of a dinner scene cupcakes this double box that just says sweet treats and then like a lemonade kind of stand look at those little glasses so cute oh my gosh this is so beautiful and the colors are very I mean I would say it it tends to be like like I feel like this might be a little weird in winter because it seems like outdoorsy um, but I feel like fall spring or summer this would be working in your planner like color scheme wise that's really cool Okay, then we have the full heart checklists. If I could move the pages. Oh, I love the drinks one. So you get two more full boxes. And then you have functional stuff, more functional stuff, deco and whatnot. I love that she gave you like a variety of deco. So there's like the ring and then there's the little baby thing, but then most of it's general the little like um cap man my fingers just don't work today the little things and other functional stuff headers washi strips bottom washi date covers work labels this is gorgeous oh my gosh what a clever kit i think this is so well done you get so much for um, what is it? $30. So, so, so much. Yeah, that's really, really fun. So you got what? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16 full boxes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm impressed. I can see why everybody loved this. Um, I love how versatile it is and it's, great color palette a unique color palette um it still has a lot of pink but if you're not super into pink I think it tends more on these like warm tones with just like a little bit of pink you got the blue you've got some green in here I think it's lovely I think you could do gold foil rose gold foil oh love 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 okay so that is the end of my haul I'm gonna stop there and I will catch you guys in the next video leave it down below what your favorite um shop was or favorite item and then also thank you in my recent plan with me video all of the suggestions you guys gave me for shops you maybe haven't seen me haul before um that you really like like you guys gave me so many suggestions also the youtubers and whatnot i love it 
Thank you so much for all of the recommendations. I have a lot of places to check out and I'm very excited about that. So thank you. Um, again, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have already, thank you so much for being here. I love you guys all. You are amazing. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.